Hello, and welcome back to another installment of A Jeff Finnegan's Wake, the project where I, Jeff, read the book Finnegan's Wake to you, one page at a time, one day at a time. Finnegan's Wake, uh, as we all know, a book by James Joyce, published originally in 1939. Some kind of crazy nonsense book. That's what I'm going with, crazy nonsense book. But we're reading it here, one page at a time, one day at a time. The page that we're on to today, question mark. Well, comma, that's page 86. Hmm, 86. Here we go. His exution with all the fleurs of sparse in the Royal Irish vocabulary, how the whole Petter Jagmartin, Tripezite Suet, and all the Sulfiate of Copperus had fallen off him quats unaccountably, like the crystallizations of alum on even, while he was trying for to stick fire to himself. In feech he was dripping as he found upon stripping for a pipkin of malt as he feared the cooled rain. It was attempted by the crown, P.C. Robort, to show that King Alois Crowbar, once known as Melucky, impersonating a climbing boy, rubbed some pixies of any luvial peatsmoor or his face, plucks and pusses, with a clean hoof as the best means of disguising himself, and was the middle, was to the middle white fair in Mudford of a Thursday, feist of peeler and pole under the ill-assumed names of Tykingfest and Rabwork, picked by him and Anthony, out of a telephone book, allegedly by with a pedigree pig, unlicensed, and a hyacinth. They were on that sea by the plain of ear nine hundred and ninety nine years, and they never cried crack or ceased from regular petty paddle wicking till that they landed there too, and a trifling selves, amidst camel and ass, greybeard and suckling, priest and pauper, matrimatron and merry meg into the metal of the mudstorm. The gathering, convened by the Irish agricultural and prepostoral organizations to help the Irish muck to look like to look his brother Dane in the face and attend thanks to Larry by large numbers of Christie and Jews totems to spite of the deluge was distinctly of a scattery kind when the bally bricken he could get no good of after cock of the walking through a few fancy fought mains ate some of the doorweg the pikey later selling the gentleman rate pair, because she, Francie's sister, that is to say, ate a whole side of his, the animal sty, on a struggle street, kissed the Troya, in order to pay off his or lick, six doubloons, fifteen errors of his, the villains not the rumbler's rent. Remarkable evidence was given, anon, by an ear, eye, ear, nose, and throat witness, whom Wesleyan chapel goers suspected of being a plain clothes priest, W.P., situate at Nolno, Medical Square, who, upon letting down his rice and peace-green cover disc, and having been solemnly cautioned against yawning, while, 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 while something, that's page 86. Or Finnegan's Wake. Yeah, yeah. Good night.